So uh, I'll, I'll let me mention Windows, the thermal proof windows, which are now uh, shipping. I, I want to uh, give a little credit here to Steve, who's been a little more humble when he sort of mentioned a little of low E and this and that. Low E windows came out of the, around 76 to 78, I think the late 70s, because Steve invented them with his team, okay? There was no low E before that. He created that technology. The sad thing, now that's spectacular, but the sad thing about it is that's 30 years ago. Those dual pane low E windows, dual pane by the way, invented in 18, 1865. On 19, 1865, he added low E. And after 78, while he kept churning in his lab and making better stuff, and other people in the government were doing things in lab limit, and ORNL and DOE and everybody, the industry stopped. They did low E and they said, <laughs> R2.5, R2.8, you probably didn't know your windows were only R2.8. They stopped and said, good enough. Now our walls went in to be R10, R11, R13, R15, and our windows stopped sometime in the middle of the last century, or you know, mid-term, mid halfway <laughs> there to the end of the century, in the late 70s, and stopped dead at R2.8. So we invented windows that go from R5 to R11. We listened to Steve very much and, and a lot of other people who said, great, make that R5 window, that entry level window, be the same price as everyone else's R2.5, and then the, the ROI is infinite. It's not gonna cost you anymore. So in fact, that's what we've done. We've got a world-class uh, set of windows from R5 to R11, and we've got commercial windows up to R27 class. You know, if you put our R5, R, R5 to R7 windows in the Northeast in a certain kind of a house, uh, depending on percentage of windows, etc. Over the life of the windows, now not everyone will be in that house for the 25 to 30 years, but over the life of the windows, you get $100,000 in energy cost back, depending on how fast energy goes up. Those are insane numbers. It's absolutely crazy. So why shouldn't we be doing these?